we run through the entrance in heat one, we have Boyt in two, Lu Dong from China in three, Mershko from Ukraine in four, Thomas Kane from Australia in five, Herzog in six, and Ilyas in seven. And Mershko, golden bronze, his fastest qualifier overall at 3.03, which is actually under the Paralympic record. 24 year, years of age, and she'll be a real threat in this event. So Moresco, the 24-year-old, swimming in lane four. And Lu Dong swimming next to her in three. It's gotten off to a terrific start. She's also won a silver in the backstroke, a gold and a silver in London. And she's off to an excellent start for the first leg of the women's 200 metres medley. And Tiffany thomas Kane from Australia having a great swim in the butterfly. She's currently in second position. And Mareshko has a little bit of work to do. But we know she'll be able to come home strongly in the later stages of the race. Well, Mareshko is uh, the fastest of the swimmers, arguably, in the pool. But Lu Dong of China and Tiffany thomas Kane are showing great strength in the opening stages of this race. Lu Dong is just pulling away from any other swimmer in the field. She'll lose a little in the uh, back end of this closing 50 but Tiffany Thomas Cade looking to just stay ahead of Moreshko at the moment a significant age gap between them Tiffany Thomas Cade the youngest by far in this field at just 15 it's Lu Dong at the moment who's maintaining that lead and while she is slowing a little I think she's got significant enough lead for her not to be overhauled by Moreshko who now does pass Tiffany Thomas Cade and showing her speed in the water so Moreshko building through that second 50. It will be Lu Dong who touches in first as we head into the breaststroke. And Moreshko will be happy with that 50. She made up a significant portion of the pool and Thomas Kane touching in third position. Still 100 metres to go and as we mentioned, Lu Dong already a decorated Paralympian. Thomas Kane already has two bronze, just 15 years of age, and she's got a full complement here. She's swimming in eight events. And, uh, well, Moreshko making up a little bit of ground there on Lu Dong. She's, as we mentioned, the fastest qualifier in this event at 3.03.73, 24 years of age, and that is qualifying time is quick enough to be under Paralympic record time. I'm not entirely sure she'll be able to achieve that in this heat, but let's see how she comes home with the freestyle. Lu Dong, just a body length in front at the moment as they head into the final turn. And it's evening up at the front of the field. Moreshko and Thomas Kane, neck and neck. Moreshko just with an edge coming out of that turn and Tiffany Kane, Thomas Kane is going to try and hold on there and Lu Dong starting to tire a little in lane three. But Moreshko, well, look at this. Here's why she was the fastest qualifier. She's having a lovely freestyle leg and she's looking very comfortable indeed. Didn't panic in the early stages when she saw how quickly the Chinese athlete went out. And in the end, it's going to be an easy victory in this heat one. But she knows she wants to send a message to the other competitors in this event. And it is a Paralympic record. She's done well. She's touched in. So she'll be very pleased with that. She's slower than her quali qualifying time, but quicker than the Paralympic record. Funny Ilish of Hungary comes to the wall sixth. But indeed, Mareshka showing her class in the closing stages. It was that third leg that again made all the difference. Third so length to, of breaststroke. To give you an idea in the end how quickly she came home, she touched the wall at the 150 mark in second position, but then finished six seconds ahead of Thomas Kane. So a dominant final leg in the freestyle and showing why she'd have to be among the favourites for the gold in this event. And Lu Dong. While very, very powerful through the water, particularly on the backstroke. Unable to maintain that speed through the breaststroke and only managing to finish third overall.
Well, they like what they see here at the Olympic Aquatic Stadium and nice to see another record fall in the opening session. So there we have.